Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today, let's embark on an exciting journey to the mesmerizing country of Morocco. Now, if I say Morocco, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it the tantalizing aroma of delicious Moroccan cuisine that tickles your taste buds? Or perhaps it's the enchanting blend of stunning natural landscapes and rich cultural heritage that instantly captures your imagination. Personally, I can't help but recall the breathtaking city of Marrakesh. But today we'll explore another facet of this mesmerizing country. Morocco has recently made a significant achievement in the automotive industry by successfully manufacturing its first locally made car, called Mio. Related to the Moroccan company Neo Motors, and it is a 100% made in Morocco vehicle, marking a historic milestone for the country. Notably, Morocco has become the first African country to produce a fully local car without any foreign interference. This accomplishment has attracted global attention and positioned Morocco as a major player in the automotive sector. In addition to the Neo, there is another remarkable vehicle that we will discuss in this video. The NAM X HUV hydrogen utility vehicle. This vehicle falls into the premium category, much like Tesla and Mercedes-Benz cars. The NAM X stands out as the world's first premium hydrogen-powered SUV, sport utility vehicle, incorporating removable tank capsules. These capsules can be fully charged in just three minutes. The car contains six capsules and can travel a distance of 800 kilometers. These capsules are produced by Nam X, a Moroccan startup company, whose name stands for New Automotive and Mobility Exploration. The visionary behind this groundbreaking achievement is Fawzi Al Najjar, a talented Moroccan engineer serving as the CEO and chief engineer of Nam X. Assisting him is Thomas de Luzac, a French designer who co founded the company and serves as its design director. Morocco's foray into automobile manufacturing, along with the introduction of the NEO and the NAMAX, has catapulted the country into the global automotive arena. This achievement has garnered widespread attention, allowing Morocco to establish itself as one of the largest car manufacturers and exporters in the world. In terms of production volume and export numbers, Morocco now ranks third globally, following India and China. Furthermore, this accomplishment has positioned Morocco as the leading car manufacturer in Africa by producing almost 1 million cars every year. The development of Morocco's automotive industry can be attributed to various factors. Firstly, there was a strong political and economic will to invest in the sector, with a focus on generating substantial revenue for the state treasury and creating job opportunities. Under the reign of King Mohammed VI, who ascended the throne in 1999. The Moroccan government emphasized the development of the automotive industry, leading to significant growth and investments in infrastructure. Morocco's political and economic stability has also played a crucial role in attracting international companies to invest in the country. The absence of conflicts, military coups, or any political problems, coupled with a robust and diversified economy, have made Morocco an appealing destination for foreign investments. Furthermore, Morocco's strategic geographical location, being the closest African country to Europe and a vital link between Africa, Europe and America, as it overlooks the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean has provided it with unique advantages for trade and commerce. The government has focused on improving the country's infrastructure, such as highways, high-speed rail lines, and a state-of-the-art train called Al Borak. Transport capabilities have been further increased via ports, most notably Tanda Port, one of Africa's largest. This continues to bolster industrial development in the nation. In addition to the automotive industry, Morocco has expanded into other manufacturing sectors, such as boats and private planes. The aviation industry has attracted major investments from renowned international huge companies like Boeing, Airbus and Stelia Aerospace, employing a significant number of Moroccan professionals. But this isn't the end. Morocco has another brand, it's a supercar called Laroki. I'm sure you've seen it in films like Fast and Furious. 
The owner of the Laraki brand is Abdeslam Laraki, a Moroccan designer who started out creating luxurious yachts and created the eponym company Laraki. The first time Namek's car saw lights was on 11 May 2022 in Italy. By the way, Namex has a collaboration with the popular Italian car design firm and coach builder Pininfarina. The production of the Namex car will start in 2025. The price is between 65 and 95,000 euros, and it goes along with Made in Morocco. This marks a significant step towards achieving Morocco's goal of becoming a platform for low-carbon vehicles, particularly in the field of hydrogen-powered cars. Hydrogen was chosen as the fuel source due to its renewable and environmentally friendly nature. When used in fuel cells, hydrogen reacts with oxygen in the air, producing electricity and emitting only water as exhaust, making it a clean and sustainable fuel option. Hydrogen is abundant in the universe, with water being its primary source on Earth. It is considered the lightest element and holds tremendous energy potential with three times the energy per kilogram compared to gasoline. Furthermore, hydrogen's versatility extends beyond the automotive industry, as it finds applications in rocket propulsion and space science due to its rapid combustion capabilities. Morocco's achievement in manufacturing its first local car running on green hydrogen fuel represents a significant milestone not only for the country, but also for the Arab, Amazigh, Islamic, and African regions. It showcases Morocco's commitment to technological innovation, environmental sustainability, and economic growth in the automotive sector. Overall, Morocco's progress in the automotive industry, exemplified by the production of the Neo, Nermex, and Laraki cars, is a result of strategic planning, political will, economic stability, and geographical advantages, as well as the country's embrace of renewable energy sources like hydrogen. This achievement solidifies Morocco's position as a key player in the global automotive market and sets the stage for further advancements in low-carbon and sustainable transportation. Thank you for tuning in to our enlightening video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more invaluable content. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Morocco's innovative new generation of cars, so feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, ciao.